The increase in car theft reported to the eight police stations in Port Mosby has risen over the past six months. Historically, it has become unusually high to have such constant statistics for a particular crime. Car theft is one of the major uh, criminal activities that's happening in Port Mosby. Uh, on record, uh, spare the police records that we have uh, from Broco, <coughs> uh, it is about one to two motor vehicles are stolen each day. Uh, that's on average. But I could say it's two motor vehicles per day. So you times that in a month, you know, we roughly uh, end up with about record of uh, 40, 45 motor vehicles being stolen in the National Capital District. The motive to steal a car has also changed over the years. Investigations conducted by police reveal that criminals no longer steal vehicles to use as getaway car, especially in an armed robbery, but steal vehicles, remove parts and resell them for a lower price. They target fast-moving vehicles and those that are common in the city. Well, we look at uh, the crime of uh, stolen motor vehicles. Uh, sometimes uh, people steal or the criminals they steal motor vehicles just because there is an opportunity for them to steal or there are buyers on the other side who paid the criminals to steal a motor vehicle uh, and in that particular case uh, criminals target the type and make and model of a vehicle <coughs> for them to steal because the buyer is requesting for that type make a model of that vehicle to be stolen so that he can he, he can uh, remove parts from the vehicles or he can purchase the vehicles from the criminals. Police have an 80 to 90 percent chance of recovering stolen vehicles but some vehicles remain missing for a longer period and the question on everyone's mind is where do these vehicles end up? While police are still acting on evidence, they believe there are Papua New Guineans who hire criminals to steal vehicles and resell them in other provinces under new vehicle registrations. In an interview with the National Road Safety Council, Nelson Terama, the executive director, said a number of stolen vehicles were retrieved during road checks this year. So when the criminals uh, steal a vehicle from a particular point A, and in order to go to point B, then uh, they make sure that the road is cleared and, you know, but when we put up our random road tracks in the city, sometimes the criminals, they think twice whether they're going to go that way or not because they want to slow down and the police going to catch them at, uh, easily. So criminals, they're fully aware of our road, like, where we going to, that's why we normally do random checks so that nobody knows where we are going to set up our road tracks. So we do our road checks from uh, 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock every day from Monday to Friday, so that is a continuous enforcement operation that we've been doing. Commander Kalaud said while police cannot fully guarantee the recovering of stolen vehicles, car owners are advised to take precautions when traveling home from work or moving around in the city. Care and vigilance is the most priority uh, aspect of uh, us, you know, taking precaution. And, uh, you know, when you drive to your residence, from your office to your residence, if you see suspecting, uh, you know, people or criminals or people that you don't see on the streets, you don't drive into your gates. Drive to a police station and advise the police so they can come and check the street before you get in or you drive up to another place. Tekla Gunga, National MTV News.